Have you seen the movie Beautiful Mind? John Nash likes a girl and asked her out on a date, but he expressed himself as so direct that it was considered rude. In the end, he got slapped and the girl just left. What did you think about this? I totally agree with him, because I do as well. I treat the word mathematically. Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about the similarities between Go and Math. I'm a professional Go player and I majored in math in college. So I've been asked this question so many times. What is the similarities between Go and Math? Now I will tell you about this. The most common misunderstanding is that I would be good at counting because I majored in math, but that's not true. Math is not simply arithmetic. Of course, calculating the value of a move in a fraction in the end game seems like a mathematical act, but I don't think this is math. This is still only arithmetic. Math is more like abstract and implicit. I think the similarities between Go and math I'm going to talk about today are also abstract and implicit. The first similarity between Go and Math is it is neat, not messy. It is logical and direct. In my high school, after exams, there was a long line of students in front of the Korean language teacher. This is because of the nature of the language, which may have multiple correct answers. What about in front of math teacher? There was never a line. The same applies to Go. Victory and defeat are divided, and the person with larger territories wins, and the referee's subjective judgment or other factors does matter. Honest and frank. People who play Go have good character. This is the reason behind it. The second similarity between Go and math is the freedom of thinking. There is only one essence goal to pursue, but there are thousands and millions of ways to find it. We can travel the universe through Go and Math. I recently started learning to play chess. Of course it's fun, but it is true that it is frustrating to be restricted in various actions. When there are basically no restrictions, things are much harder. However, if you understand the invisible patterns and discover the order, it is as fun as it gives us more freedom. The third similarity is that it could be everything and nothing at the same time. Does it make sense? I'm not sure how I can express this. When I was in school, I wondered why I was learning math. Language can be used right away. Physical education builds stamina. But what about math? It seemed the most useless, but it was, in fact, the most important. Did you know that the mathematical technology used in smartphones was already a theory in math 100 years ago? Math deals with the most primitive skills, so it is not immediately visible, but over time, it does great things. There is a saying that the Nobel Prize winners should give some credit to mathematicians. Math contains the most basic and primitive principles of the world. The same goes for Go. You can think it's just a simple game and say you don't have to know. But if you give it a chance and learn Go, it can be of a great help and provide support in other areas of your life. Because Go contains the most basic and primitive principles of the world. It is language itself. Go and math are languages because they already contain the universe. Even if we don't know the language of the country, we can become friends through Go and Math. Go and Math both has a unique value that transcends time and space. 
It is pure science. We would be able to talk all night with famous mathematicians and masters of Go from hundreds of years ago by the language of Go or math. No matter where we meet the people in the world, we can communicate through Go and math. Go and math have consistent value. Since humans are imperfect, it is natural to pursue absolute value. Especially in these rapidly changing times, eternal and immortal values become more and more precious. Alright, so far I have told you five things that Go and Math have in common. How do you think about this? Please leave your opinions in the comments. Thank you for watching. I see you in the next video. Bye.